everyone today we the students of first and second of international wing have completed a wonderful unit all dressed up turn a great deal about clothes and pattern of clothes today we have a trick for your eyes and our little learners I'm getting all dressed up for you and a presenting a fabulous fashion show The simplest item of clothing possible and single length of fabric up to 9 meters long That is also one of the world most versatile and stylish garment which can be dressed in dozens of different ways it means a thing to wear the traditional full length robe worn in japan Good. Is a knee length skirt like garment with sleeve at the back. It is traditional dress of a man and boys in the Scottish Highlands. Often worn on a formal occasions and sports events. Hey, 
Hello, we say bonjour when we need to say I am. 
Sam smile, you see? Jumbo Bell smile. Konnichiwa. In Japan, people greet each other by going. A book can reach a small knot of the head to a deep bend at the waist. A deeper, longer bow indicates respect and conversely. A small knot with the head is casual and informal. If the greeting place sticks on the tatami floor, people get on their knees to go. Food is an ingredient that binds us all together. Let's walk to different cuisines across the globe. Hello everyone. Burger, burger, burger. Who doesn't like burger? People in America love to eat cheese burger. Their favorite dessert is banana split. In this land of diversity. And this is the favorite cuisine of our country. From Chole Bhature to Rava Othma. The dishes are very diverse. Even within a state, specific regions have their own food culture, which contradicts with the other part of the state. Each cuisine prepared in the country has an exotic flavor and it is special in its own way. Rashabara Barina Majega Tarakari Pamela Priya. Curry food is a combination of fish, rice, and lentils. South Indian Italy, Dosa, Appam, Medu Vada, Rava Upma, Uthpam and Sambar are some of the most popular dishes that are quite famous and loved all over the country. Sadi Punjab de khane di to belli vakri hai. Makki di roti da sarso da saag, chole bhature te gol, meethi lassi te Punjab di shaan nu vadai de. Life without Mexican food is incomplete. Mexican food includes burritos, quesadillas, tacos, tomato salsa, enchiladas. Yo, yo, I already have my mouth for it. Seafood, meat, rice and pastries are essential meals when you are in Spain. The most common meals in Spain are paella. The next most common meal is uh, the spacho. Next in line is jamun. Then the chorizo and then the tortilla espanola. You know what? You agree. When your family calls you chubby, what stir fry? Two plates of food. Ha ha ha! We love food. A mainstay of any Greek meal is a glass of dip, such as hummus. People in Greece love to eat pita bread and their special Greek salad. We mix some pita bread and Greek salad in a class during the ideal activity and somebody loved it. Mmm, doesn't it look scrumptious? In France, cooking is a serious art form and a national sports too. People of France love to eat crepes, chocolate, cheese and onion soup. Most pure traditional Japanese dishes such as unagi, soba, sushi, sashimi, grilled eel, all of these will tickle your taste buds. They say monuments are the grappling islands that bind one generation to another. Let's look at some famous monuments. Some of the famous monuments of USA are number one, Mount Rushmore, located in Keystone SD, second, Brooklyn Bridge, located in New York. India is the land of various monuments. Taj Mahal is one of the seven wonders of the world, is in India. It is an ivory white marble mausoleum on the south bank of the Yamuna River in the Indian city of Agra. Charnath is beating heart of Hyderabad. The landmark of the city was built by the ruler of Kutub Shai Dynasty. The Alhambra is the most famous monument in Spain. It has beautiful palaces and gardens. 
senior independent is center of attraction in Mexico. Mount Aram is the oldest monument. Kaaba is the historical landmark. This has many ancient monuments and the famous Greek landmarks that attract boats of tourists each each year, like the Acropolis Museum in the Athens and the Academy of Athens. Tokyo is most famous landmark included in Imperial Palace with its beautiful 17th century park surrounded by walls and moats. And most recognizable landmark is the majestic Mount Fuji. It is also the country's highest mountain peak standing tall at 3776 meters. Not only are Mount Fuji and its surroundings absolutely breathtaking, but it also holds loads of significance in terms of Japan's cultural and spiritual landscapes. It's all in the money, they say, but money has different names in different countries. The currency of India is Ruby. Hello, my name is Siddika. I am from Spain. The currency of Spain is Euro. The currency of Greece is Euro. The currency of Thailand is Thai Baht. In England, the currency is Pounds. Mana speaks volumes about the bus, and you will be surprised to know that how we eat at a table actually talk a great deal about us including how we use utensils and cutlery our teacher talks about table manners in our school different cultures observe different truths for table manners it's time to see how people in various countries Eat their food in unique ways. Let's see how people in Japan eat their food. Let's see how people in Japan eat their meal. People of Japan use red towels to wipe their hands before and after meal. They use chopsticks in every meal. While eating, they pick up their plates and hold them at chest level. while drinking tea or eating noodles. No leftovers is a basic etiquette in a Japanese meal. Indians share a special bond with food. From what we eat to how it's prepared and the way it's consumed, there are many things that make Indian food unique and healthy. It is believed in Ayurveda that each finger is an extension of the five elements air, water, space, fire and earth. Eating food with fingers stimulates these five elements and helps in secretion of digestive juices in the stomach. So my dear viewers, I am sure you now know much more about world cultures. The most important thing that our teacher taught us was that we might belong to one culture, but we need to respect and appreciate this wonderful diversity the world offers us. Hello there, now that we have seen what a beautiful place the world is. Let's ponder on something that is making our world today a little less beautiful. Trying to guess? Well, we the students of my post 3 did a fabulous unit on climate change. So what exactly are we doing wrong and how do we fix it? I'm going to start with some basic science as this is important. 
We started breaking CO2 records in 1950 since the Industrial Revolution and we haven't stopped since. Why? Well, scientists say that there is a 75% chance that human activity is because we've been burning more and more fossil fuels like oil and coal that we need CO2 to power our homes, factories, airplanes and cars. There is also more to Global population has tripled in last 70 years. We are consuming product for animal that release pollutant called methane. Now, all these gases get released up into the Earth's atmosphere and when sunlight reaches the Earth, then some of the heat gets trapped and our planet gets warmer. Now, the real concern is not that the Earth is warming up, but it is that the, that the Earth is warming up far too quickly. Experts say that Earth is one degree warmer than pre-industrial times, which is around 1800s, which is okay. Even up to 1.5 to 2 degrees is okay. But again, the proper speed. Because right now we are on track 1.5 degrees in only 10 years. If we don't stop warming, it, it could be mean a disaster for all. And we are on already getting a test. Take a look. Climate change is here. Climate change is happening. We are watching so many species getting extinct each year. Millions of people are likely to suffer worsening food and water shortages. People from around the world are already losing their homes. And if things carry on like this, millions more of us will have to pack up too. Entire coastal cities could be underwater within 80 years. Entire island nations in the Pacific could completely disappear. Natural disasters are becoming more and more intense more frequent with more devastating consequences. Every three months, some part of the world gets hit. All of this is a threat to humankind. And we are not doing enough. Can we fix this? Yes, reduce, reuse and recycle. Switch to green energy rather than burning off fossil fuels. Save energy and water at home. Think and adopt ways to save the planet. You cannot have infinite growth on a finite planet. Some countries are making progress. India, Morocco and Colombia have massive renewable energy projects. Different countries are doing different things. For example, some countries are making public transport free in cities. Well, that's a great way to encourage people out of their cars. But experts say that what we need is a bigger push to change everything about the way we run our world. So, expert advice is to change our ways and shake up things or else climate is going to that for us we don't have um, for a planet to pack up and go there let's sing song together for planet we will not let you get away with this right here right now is where we draw the line the world is waking up and change is coming whether you like it or not.
has a problem We've got to solve it, get involved and do it now, now, now We need to build a better future And we need to start right now And we need to start